Hello Post-19ers, it's Graham in the kitchen again, back by popular demand and uh, today we are going to be cooking sausage and mashed potato. Good old bangers and mash. So uh, the processes today are we are going to prep our vegetables, uh, that's um, potatoes for boiling and then mashing, then we're going to chop an onion because we our special treat today is onion gravy and we're going to chop I'll show you how to safely chop an onion and then we'll be cooking the potatoes cooking the sausages making the gravy and that's it so hope you enjoy this one I hope you're hungry because this is yummy yummy and let's get going okay first things first then let's have a look at our ingredients so first of all sausages choose your favorite ones these just be happen to be on offer at Sainsbury's so we've got some nice might the mighty meaty one from Sainsbury's um, we've got our potatoes we've got an onion we've got some butter and milk for making the mashed potato we've got a little bit of oil we only need a tiny little splash of oil for frying the sausages and there's our onion we've also got a little bit of flour and a meat stock cube for making some gravy so I'm just gonna go off and wash my hands and then I'll be back and we'll start the first process right guys I'm back from washing my hands and we're now at the kitchen sink because we're gonna be peeling our potatoes and we're going to use a potato peeler this is a safety one you can use a knife but it's a little bit tricky so have a look in the kitchen drawer see if you can find a potato peeler lots of different sorts but this I find this one the easiest so all you do hold your potato firmly I've got two large ones here and then just gently scrape the skin off with the blade of the peeler you don't have to press too hard because we're only trying to get the skins off some people like their mashed potato with the skins on um, but I'm showing you how to peel today so that if you don't want the skin on you'll know how to do it and there we are we're just gently taking the skin off that's a lumpy bit there Come on. Just getting all the little bits off. There we go. And then we're going to do the end. Right, you have to be a little bit careful now because as you peel it, the potato gets a little bit wet and a little bit slippy. So it's harder to grip onto. But there we are. This one's got a smiley mouth. and now the other end oh we've done the other end so you'll need about one and a half potatoes per person which is about one large one like this so there we are, there's our potatoes peeled. I'm going to get all the lovely peelings and put them in my compost caddy. And then that's going to go down to the compost bin a little bit later to make some compost for the greenhouse. Give our potatoes a little wash. Give our hands a little dry and then we're ready for the next process. So we're back over by the cooker. Um, we've got our peeled potatoes ready to chop up. Uh, we've got a pan of water to boil the potatoes and we've got a frying pan to cook the sausages. So I'm just going to put the gas on to boil the water to put our potatoes in. Put the lid on and it'll boil quicker. Okay, so we've got our vegetable knife here and we're going to chop our potatoes so just be really careful with sharp knives and 
ask for help if you need it. So what I'm going to do, fingers well out of the way of the blade, so I'm just resting the blade on top of the potato and gently pushing down with my other hand and just wiggling my hand down, turn the potato round and then we've got it in half and now you can put the flat bit on the chopping board and it's a lot easier to chop and a lot safer to chop. If you cut them all up into roughly the same size segment they'll, they'll all cook at the same speed. So here we go again see that's a bit unstable and difficult to cut no matter which way up you put it. So what I'm going to do gently rest the knife on there and then just make sure your fingers and thumb are out of the way and gently push down so you're holding the potato and the knife goes through. There we are and we're just going to do similar on the other side. In the pan, I think I've done too many, too many potatoes here. There's our, our potatoes in the saucepan. I've just peeled the potatoes um, and uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to wipe down. Uh, you can use, I'm, using, I'm just using a wipe, but you can just use a, a clean cloth just to wipe down the surface of your chopping board or your work surface and then you're good to go. Now we're going to do the onion. Now onions are a little bit tricky and you have to be extra careful. So I've got a really sharp knife here. And so um, to peel an onion, two things. You don't want to cut your fingers and you don't want to make yourself cry. So here's my top tip. I'm not going to guarantee that you won't cry, but I think you'll cry less with this onion. So the bit of the onion that contains the chemical that makes your eyes water is in the root end, the knobbly end, not the pointy end, on the knobbly end where the roots come out. And if you cut that off about a centimetre above, and throw it away, straight away, you're less likely to cry. So we've chopped off the end of our onion, and as you can see, I'm not crying yet. <laughs> and now I'm just gonna flip it over onto the flat side so it's nice and safe. Okay, and we're gonna do the same procedure again. So we're gonna rest your knife on the top, right down the middle, and then just press your hand down Till it meets the onion and there we are you've got two halves of onion now and so what I do next is just I just peel this outside layer off and put it in the compost caddy and then trim the top end off and you're good to go for the next stage of cutting the onion. There we are. Now we're only going to use sliced onions today, so we're not going to dice it up into little bits. So when you're using a sharp knife, or any knife really, the important thing is to keep your fingers out of the way. And you do this by making a claw so that your you make a claw like this so that your fingertips are well away from whatever it is that you're going to be cutting. So there we are, there's my claw. As you can see, my fingers here make a nice straight line. So then I just move slowly over to the end of the onion. The blade of the knife is nowhere near my fingers. It's only on the onion and I gently push down. So there's my first slice. And then I move my finger back remembering to keep my fingertips tucked under in that claw 
and there's another slice and another one and each time I cut I'm just gently moving my fingers back till I get to the end and there we have that onion nice and sliced and then we'll show you again on the next one a nice claw a nice claw shape fingertips well out of the way of the knife blade and so you just bring your knife over to the onion gently push down move your fingers back fingertips pointing away from the knife and then if it get, all gets a bit wobbly you can lay it over and start again Voila, sliced onions. So what I'm going to do now is because this is my very sharpest knife, I'm going to give it a nice wipe with my anti-bat cloth and I'm going to put it away nice and safely. Cool. The next stage is to prepare our sausages and put them in the pan. So I'm just going to take them out of the packet and let's have a look and see what we've got in here then. Wow, sausages, a string of sausages. So what we need to do is separate each sausage. So I've gone back to my smaller knife now and just chop them. See the bit that separates them in the middle? If you can see in there, just lay that flat on your board and pop your knife through it. There we are. There's the bit of the sausage skin there, straight through. Last two. There we are. Gently push down, and there you have your sausages. So I'm just going to give my hands a wipe now with my cleaning cloth. So we are going to now heat the frying pan and start cooking our sausages. So here we go. Now I've, I like to cook sausages on a medium low heat, not really fierce heat because they go all black and burnt and I don't like my sausages like that. I like my sausages brown and juicy in the middle so there we go so I've got a little bit of oil so I only put a very tiny bit in to stop them sticking to start off with so that's about a quarter of a teaspoon of oil and I just let that heat up in the pan and give it a little shush around so that it covers bottom of the pan and just let that go for a minute or so while I'm doing that I'm just going to check to see if the potatoes are boiling they're not the potatoes normally take about 12 to 15 minutes to cook and they've been cooking for about five minutes already and these sausages I'm just checking the packet take 12 to 15 minutes to cook so it should all be ready around about the same time which is good because I'm getting hungry right our pans nice and warm now so I'm just gonna gently put the sausages in now when you're putting stuff into a hot frying pan like this always lay it away from you because that way the fat if it splashes will splash away from you and not towards you so you just gently lay the sausages away from you there we are six sausages sizzling in a pan one went pop 
and the other went bang. How many sausages are sizzling in the pan? So the other tools we need is our spatula and that's to turn our sausages over or you can use kitchen tongs which might be a little bit easier but I'm okay with the spatula. So as you can hear our sausages are sizzling nicely so I'm just going to flip them over with the spatula. Look at that, that's how I like them, nice and brown, not black. There we are. And at this point, I'm going to put my onions in. You don't have to have onions with your sausage, sausages, but we're making a little onion gravy as a treat. So we're just going to let the onions slowly cook with the sausages and they'll share their flavours with each other and then all the juices will go into the gravy and there we are we're just flipping the sausages over again Every couple of minutes just move the sausages otherwise they'll burn on one side and no one likes a burnt sausage do they? So in just a sec we're going to check our potatoes and see if they're cooked yet and I'll show you how to do that. Right, to check that your potatoes are cooked be very careful because the water is boiling so you get your point of your knife and poke it in. And if the potato falls off, it's cooked. Or so you'll actually be able to feel if it's still a bit hard. And these, these need a few more minutes. So I'm gonna pop the lid back on and let them cook. Right, so our sausages are just about cooked. So now I'm gonna make a gravy with these. Now you can just have plain sausages, no onions, and you can see that they're nice and brown and cooked. And we'll do the cut test later, just to show you. So now I've got um, a spoonful of a spoonful of flour here that's going to go in with all the, the juices, and I'm just going to mix that in. So that there are no lumps or bumps. And then I'm going to get my kettle and add some water. Carry on stirring. and then I'm going to add my stock cube. Second top tip of the day, crush it in the packet before you open it and then it comes out, it doesn't make a mess everywhere and it doesn't get all over your hands. There we are. So while my gravy is cooking, I'm now going to mash the potatoes. Right, so we're going to drain the water out of the potatoes, which are now cooked. So here's my colander, and then very carefully, let the potatoes drain off, all the water gone and then we're going to put them back 
So there we are, our potatoes are back in the pan. There's no water in there. Now we get our spud masher, our potato masher, and just push down until all your potatoes are mashed. Now you don't want to over mash, because there's the next step to do. But what you do want to do is get rid of all the big lumps. There we are, the potatoes are mashed, and now all I'm going to add is a little bit of butter and some milk, and then I'm gonna mix that in. So about an egg cup full of milk, a little scoop of butter, and then gently mix it in all together with your spatula. Don't mash it in because it goes a funny texture otherwise. So just here we are, we're just gently mixing it in. There we have our mashed potato. I'm going to pop the lid back on, keep it warm while I go and look at the sausages and the gravy. Here we are back at the frying pan. Give that a little stir. That gravy's thickened up nicely. Look, sausages are lovely and cooked. Lots of lovely soft onions in there. That looks really tasty. I think we're ready to serve. Just get some plates and I'll plate this up and we're good to go. So here we have our plate. There's a scoop of mashed potato on the plate. One, oh, I've spilled gravy everywhere. Two sausages bit of onion and I'll just grab a spoon and there we go guys bangers and mash with onion gravy hope you can go and give this a go go and enjoy it have a nice cook and we'll see you on the next video and don't forget to send your pictures and videos in so that we can see what you've made bye